Now, I know it's not going to mean anything to you, but on this particular trip, I want to just test that camera because I've got this one filming on 1080 and I've got this one filming on 4K. Because people are saying it would be nice to be able to zoom in on the panel, but when I zoom in, it goes all um, pixelated. My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodo DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. That's a sort of fairly vicious clump, isn't it? Of cloud coming up that way. Yeah, I was looking at my car and that's a bit stupid. What's that? I left every I shut all the doors and locked it up and I've uh, I think I've left a um a window up, but I don't think you can actually lock the door. Oh right. If it hasn't got to. Well, when I went to Toby's last weekend, Toby's father in law and Toby played golf and I drove Dad around on the buggy. And the interesting thing was, we got halfway round where there was a little um, kiosk where you could get a hot drink, because it was actually a very cold day. And Tony was sort of patting his pockets, checking his bag, couldn't find his wallet. And he thought, oh, well, I must have, or said he must have left it at home. Um, three and a half hours after we left the car, we got back to the car park and the wallet and the phone was still sat on the roof. Hell. Yeah. Okay. Just gave it a little bit of a burst of hot air. Come here. Huh? Yeah, fine. Yeah, or we'll just. Yeah, it's. But there again, how good is the gauge? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay then. Are you happy? Yep. All right, so we'll go down the hill. <laughs> now, I know it's not going to mean anything to you, but on this particular trip, I want to just test that camera because I've got this one filming on 1080. And I got this one filming on 4K. Because right. people are saying it would be nice to be able to zoom in on the panel. But when I zoom in, it goes all um, pixelated. All right. So because it's now got a greater number of pixels on the screen, I ought to be able to do it. But it's whether or not my editing package will allow me to run the two. So. Hence the fact that's why I haven't put the under wing camera on for this particular flight. Right. It's just a matter of just trying and seeing. Yeah, but you, you get many more dials and things and just, you won't be able to get off the bloody ground. <laughs> this is supposed to be a two plus two, not a single seater. 
And you can put that in the... Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> does look as if it could be raining there, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, where, where the uh, uh, cranes are, which is the bit that I wanted to look at. Just checking the road, because as I say, the road system went absolutely doolally when I was driving here. So we just thought I'd do a little bit of eyes in the sky. Yep. That road from there, yep. right the way through, which is flowing freely now, was all absolutely log jabbed. All oh, right. Because I envisage something happening out there, accident-wise or whatever. It seems to be flowing all right. Yeah. Now where's Brightling Sea from? Brightling Sea, we're on the nose. Right. So we got we got the River Cone coming out of Colchester. Yeah. There's the university. Yeah. After university, it's Wivenhoe. Yeah. And then you've got, well, I'll fly you down the creek. I'm trying to remember where, where is that place right over there with all the yachts? That's Mersey. Right. But that's close to Brightling Sea, isn't it? Well, you've got West Mersey that side yeah. and East Mersey this side. Ah, perhaps that's where I'm getting muddled up. Because if you're talking about Bradwell, yeah. Bradwell, you see where the yachts are on, on the end of West Mersey. Yeah. You can't really see it in the murk, but the two towers at Bradwell are over the water from there. So you've got Rowhedge the other side of the river, and that's the Roman River that winds its way up that way. Right. And then you've got the Colchester Barrier at Wivenhoe there, yeah. which is flood protection. And then all the way from Wivenhoe, you might not be able to see it from here, but all the way from Wivenhoe through to Arlesford, yeah. you can walk along the side of the creek. Right. And it's really nice. And there used to be a crossing here. You can see where the old railway line used to be. There's a line vaguely. of trees that stop. Right, vaguely, yeah. And if you look at the end of the line of trees, there's a couple of metal posts. And that was the end of where the bridge used to be. So the bridge used to go across Arlesford Creek and the railway line to Brightling Sea followed where we're going now. Yeah. Okay, so the railway line is there. Yeah. And it brings you up to Bateman's Tower. They start a whole load of yachting races from level with that tower, but yep. there you can see Mersey. Right. That's all Mersey Island, and this bit here is East Mersey. Yeah. So this is all Brightling Sea. Yeah. And you this were talk you were talking about the new buildings. No, I, I I've got my bearings now, believe it or not. Right. That's the swimming pool. Yeah. That's the the beach hut. Yeah. Right. That's the uh, tower. Yeah. Right. That's your swimming pool, heated swimming pool. That's your boating lake. Yep. And then those houses over there, those really posh houses, you can walk through there. Yeah. And that's where we end up most most time. Yeah. But I was getting muddled up because we actually drove down further. Is that the pub there with the old beams on the outside of it? I can't see. I'm not sure what. It's right for. down there now. Oh yes. Yeah, well that high tide, that, that bit there, that square, yeah, yeah, that's where the bloke um, uh, parked his brand new truck. Yeah. And when he came past, came back, the water was halfway up one of these great big massive great trucks. Yeah. But I mean, that always used to be, I don't know whether it still is, but that always was the anchor. Yeah, quite possible, I think it is, still. Yeah, that's, we walked across, see that little bit there, like little square, nice square bit? Yeah. Well, you can walk through them, 
round to where the, that white slabby bit there uh, is the, uh, the the boating club, yeah, sailing club, and there's some nice beach huts there and round here. And normally what we do is we walk all the way round that for exercise. Yeah, no, it's good because it's free parking down there. Yeah, not that I'm that skin, but no. yeah, another go. When you drive out of Brightling, so you've got the big old church, yeah? Yeah. Well, then it goes down the hill, and when it comes down to the hill, you've got a farm down the bottom of the hill. Right. And then as you come up the hill, there's a couple of bollards, and where that car is now is my dad's. So you got that big square red building. Yep. Yep. That's Dad. Yeah, I've got you. Okay. Yep. And you can see the two horses at the yep. top of the field. Yeah. The black menage belongs to Mandy, the next door neighbour. What a beautiful evening, isn't it? Or afternoon, it, whatever the hell. Yeah, lovely. Can we just bugger off to France? Yeah, yeah, turn around, go the other way. We we said that if you head off down the cone and keep going. It takes you directly to uh, to Calais. Right. And then my house, if you come up to the cross, and then you turn right, my house is just here. So it is literally one mile from Dad's. All right. So it's very easy for the for the horse, or for the horses. There's no point circling because Karen won't come out. <laughs> Oh, the lights are all on in the greenhouses. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But if we go back now, then you get a chance to fly yours. Yeah, I'm, to be honest, I'm not. I'm not overly um, worried. So right. now, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this because I can sit here, you know, and, and look and, yeah. and see things and uh, you know navigating in my head and that. Uh, Oh look, there's an airfield down there. Oh yeah. I wonder where that is. I wonder where that is, absolutely. Yeah. And, and is there still there's two, two airplanes? There's two aircraft outside. Oh, well, that's all right. They then. look like they're either talking to each other or arguing. All oh, right. They're nose to nose. All right. Oh, that's really cheered me up, this little flight. Good. Yeah, I, I, I really mean it, I appreciate it. It's nice to have a flight like this, especially on a lovely evening. But it is rather nice to go somewhere and yeah. meet up with people or go and have a pub meal or something or other. I mean, I can stooge around for sunset, but it's not going to happen for a while. No, no. I was determined to actually get off the ground today. Yeah. But this is this has fulfilled what I need to do. I, I don't need to do any more or any less. And and I, that's, that's really bucked me up. Yeah. And I, I'm grateful for it. And uh, all right. Thank you. For yeah, quite all right. Well, just, we, we sort of try and help each other. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I just do, intrigued there. You've got that line of trees which look lovely. Yeah. But you've also got the shadows of the trees. Yeah. Unfortunately, now I chose not to do the underwing camera, which would have been that would have been nice. The other day I flew over with Eric and was saying that they could at least remark the dragon, which is all well and good. The next time I flew over, I think they had. <laughs> Looks like it's got measles because there's a whole lot of sheep in the field. Oh, yeah. I can never find that bloody thing. Yeah. I don't know why. The water helps me now. I've yeah. just realised that it's it's the on on the end of that. Well, we know there's nobody about, so I'll join yeah. base. I'll put it this way: I can't see anybody else. That's what I always uh, line up on that that white yeah uh, with the top the dark top and, and that 
um, excise paddock or whatever you call them. Looks like there have been cars out there at the gliding. It's quite strange because I wouldn't be coming round here at this speed. I would be slower. Yeah. It's strange, isn't it? It's weird. See, I could never come in from this height. Well, I yeah. just about could, but I've got to come down to yeah. it. Oh, why not? Air brake. Change the trim. A oh, really nice evening. Yeah. Interesting because you're actually coming in faster than I come in. Yeah. But I have to maintain that that um, speed. See, if, it, if this was in my RV, we'd overshoot, be through the hedge. Yeah. At the same speed. Mm -hmm. But this sort of descends, but doesn't kick up the speed that mine does. No. Very nicely. Thank you very much. And I just glide over the top as opposed to the other day. <laughs> Are you going to fly again or not? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I, to be honest, that, that that's fulfilled me. That, yeah. You know, well, I, I, I can get some uh, thingy um, points. Well, that's as far as I'm concerned. I've flown, which is the main thing. 